We're going to walk through all the steps of installing Real Flight Evolution from Steam, and we'll presume that you already have an email account, but not a Steam account. I've started here at store.steampowered.com slash about. That's the best good place you can locate the install Steam button, which I'm about to press. I click that. You can see I've downloaded Steam Setup. I'll run that software. You will need admin to give it permission to install Steam. I'll go through this next. I'm working in English. Uh, the location, the default location is a good one and we'll let it install. At that point, we're done with the installation and we'll run Steam. There will be an update, almost certainly, as it seems to always be the case these days with anything you install. And we'll let this update finish happening. Even through some of these waits, this process, if you have a decent internet connection, is substantially faster than the process of installing Real Flight was on older versions on DVD. Get a little bit of Portal 2 video. Um, Everybody on the Real Flight team is a fan of the Portal games. And Steam has installed. It looks like it might have popped under, so I'm going to click on it here. Yep, we've got a sign-in window that's loading in. Something may still be loading. There we are. I don't have an account yet in this case. I mean, I do personally, but I'm going to create a new one to go through the whole process here. So we will cl click create a free account. Let's see, this was I don't believe what my email address is. Hold on. It's an Evo demo one at gmail.com. And typing around my microphone is really kind of challenging. This is United States. I'm not a robot, even though sometimes I speak like one. We get to do our little captcha here. Everybody play along at home if you like. I see buses. I see another bus and verify. Oh, I didn't get all the buses before I clicked verify. Oh, there's still a bus. Huh. This is a fun little video to make. All right. I am over 13 years of age, and I will click continue. So that will send an email address, email to my email address, and we'll patiently refresh over here until we see, there we go, the new Steam account email verification. We'll take this step, verify my email address. Excellent. So now we go back to our account creation window create the Steam account. Uh, we will call this Horizon Evo Demo 1. And uh, the password will be obscured for good reasons, but I will type it in now. Well, I didn't match them. I got to start over. Now they match. Very good. An account name that is at least three characters. And, oh, I can't use the spaces. That's fine. I'm not sure. But I may have too many na too many characters. I think I follow the rules now. Well, let's see. Let's 
let's try this. Three characters, A to Z, zero to nine, or underscore. There we go. Now I'll sign in with that account name. I'll allow it to remember me. You may choose not to. And now we are logged into Steam. I'm going to close the friends list and com window there and leave this open. So this is an empty Steam account. I'm going to go get my key and I'll be right back and we'll edit. We will activate Real Flight Evolution on Steam. All right, we're back from a little uh, key hunting break while I went and looked up the key I was going to use for activating Real Flight Evolution on Steam today. The way to do that is to go to Games in the Steam client, choose Activate a Product on Steam. You'll follow a couple of little next instructions here, telling you basically to find the, the product code, and you're going to be entering it. You need to agree to the subscriber agreement. And we start typing our product code in here. Now, as I activate, I can let you see this because as I activate it, this key will be consumed. You can only use them once for one account. So be sure you're activating on the account that you want to use Real Flight Evolution with because once activated, the key is completely bound to that account and can't be transferred. I left out the dash here, but I think it would be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and, and add it in the way it was formatted when I got the key. I'll hit next. If I got the key right, then we'll see an activation. Yes. So mine says Real Flight Evolution for beta testing because I'm using one of our internal keys. Uh, it's exactly the same as the Real Flight Evolution that you would activate as a retail customer, in which case it would just say Real Flight Evolution. I'll finish. Now Real Flight Evolution is in my library. You can see I've got this button here that says it still needs to be installed. I could click that directly, or I can click into the library item, which I'm doing now. And I seem to have triggered a, a wait from Steam. There we are. Ah, it was, a, uh, I think I have a second Steam. Yep, it did. It went, to hit. it went ahead and offered to install. I was just a little too quick on the draw. So I'm going to let this install. I'm going to let it create a desktop shortcut, create a short, excuse me, create a start menu shortcut. And um, I will let it install in the default location. You can choose to put it on another drive if you have another drive. But for now, we'll just leave it in the main location. And we'll hit next, and the installation will begin. After we agree to the EULA, which is here, I'll read through all of that. I'm a very fast reader today. I agree. And now things will be prepared for installation, and you get a message saying that Steam is now downloading the game. I'm going to leave it to show me this page again in the future uh, and click Finish because this is all done, and we're just waiting for the download to happen. So we'll download, it looks like it's going to download 5 gigs. Uh, I'm very happy to have a very fast internet connection, so that's going to happen very quickly. Um, in about a minute, I will have my software downloaded. Now that's just the download part. There will be a small extraction time as well. But we'll let that happen and we'll watch attentively here in the progress window as we see how quickly it comes in and how long it's going to take to finish. Disk write error. That's interesting and fascinating. I'm going to pause for a minute as I look into that. So I verified that my C drive is not full. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click retry now. 
and let it try picking up from where it was. And it seems to have managed to. I can't say that's comforting for uh, my computer, but it doesn't have much to do with real flight. There is a lot going on with my computer at the moment, I suppose, given that I was downloading at a very high rate of speed and I'm recording this video to disk from the screen. As we let this verification and expansion period happen, Real flight is now done. Uh, we've also installed the Steamworks common redistributables, which may be important as we install real flight. There are some redistributables used. So now I will click the play button on real flight and we'll get another couple of messages. I want to do play real flight evolution. Even if you're going to do it in VR later, I'd recommend starting first on a flat screen mode to see I made everything's working correctly. So I'll select that option, and I'll go ahead and click play. Real flight should launch. And I do need to connect a controller. One moment. You may hear my chair roll around as I do that. All right, I'm back. Having connected my Interlink DX to real flight, I am ready to start. hit this retry button, button and start the simulator. We'll get a message that we need to calibrate the controller. Follow those steps. So I center my sticks physically. I center the two sliders on the back and I center the knob. There's a handy marker on the throttle stick to help me center it exactly. I click next and now I need to move each stick to its full extents. Up and down, left and right. Same thing for the other axes, like the shoulder sliders and the knob, which you can see moving on the little illustration there. And we have calibrated, we hit finish, and the controller is calibrated. There's some options here, but I'm going to go straight to flying. We got ourselves a, a Habu STS on screen, ready to go. Take it out of safe beginner, put it in high rates, fly around a little bit. bring her around for a landing and that will conclude a successful setup of real flight from a fresh start to flying an airplane enjoy your time with the simulator keep flying build up that stick time where it's cheap here in the simulator and then go fly some real planes in the world thanks a lot everybody take care